If you like chocolate, peanut butter, bananas, and I'm drawing a blank, you will like this. <laughs> Here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. This is a little out of left field for garden fork, but uh, a while back, I hurt my back, and uh, while I was recuperating, I didn't move around a lot, and I kept on eating. And so I gained a bit of weight, let's just say. And I was trying to come up with ways to lose the weight. And one of them, yeah, is exercise. The other thing is to eat less. But I love to eat, you know? I know. Yes, someone knows this. <laughs> so a buddy of mine is like, oh, I've been making this smoothie and then I'm not hungry until like lunch or after lunch. And I'm like, oh, what is it? And it's this simple peanut butter cocoa powder smoothie and he sent me the recipe and now I make this and I've lost, it's helped me lose weight. It is not the reason I'm losing weight, but it's helped me lose weight and it fills me up and I make it in the morning and it tastes pretty amazing for what it is. All right, let's talk about ingredients. You need some chocolate protein powder or you could use vanilla. I love chocolate, so um, a protein powder with not a lot of sugar in it ideally because uh, sugar is bad. You want some cocoa regular cocoa, uh, peanut butter, and cinnamon. And I don't have any but some vanilla. Do you usually use vanilla? It helps with the flavor a little bit. Uh, bananas, one or more bananas. And I forgot, hold on. Um, unsweetened almond or coconut milk or soy milk. Something that has very low sugar or no sugar in it. Sugar is not good for you when you're trying to lose weight because it just wants you, it makes you eat more food. So then why the cocoa? Cocoa doesn't have any sugar in it. Oh. All right, let me walk you through um, the recipe. People, some people say you need a frozen banana. If you're gonna freeze your bananas, don't freeze them whole like I did because it's really hard to peel when it's frozen. Um, you can use frozen bananas. I, I was like, is it worth it? Does it? I'm not quite sure what it does, but my buddy freezes the bananas. I sometimes just unpeel the bananas and it works just fine, okay? One or more bananas. And you just cut these up into your uh, blend, blender gizmo. Your vessel. Then you want a scoop of your protein powder. None of this has to be perfect. We're not going to the moon here, you know? Roughly a tablespoon of cocoa powder, like that. Two tablespoons of a peanut butter, unsweetened peanut butter, okay? So in other words, a natural peanut butter. You can pour off the oil that's on the top. And then you get to lick the spoon. I remember licking the spoon when your mom would make chocolate chip cookies. That was good. A little cinnamon. Cinnamon supposedly has these antioxidant kind of qualities. Um, quarter teaspoon, I don't know, I just kind of put some in <laughs> like that. Again, it's make it what you want. This is something to be nutritious, but fill you up and not have a lot of sugar, not a lot of carbs. The bananas don't have a lot of sugar? Uh, they have some natural sugar, which is better than refined sugar. Right. The caveat here is I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist. I'm just a guy making a smoothie and it works for me. One cup of almond or coconut or mix or soy. Shake it up, be sure to shake it up. There you go. So to mix this all together, you can use a regular old blender or you can use one of these new blenders. Um, I've broken two blenders making these shakes because I guess the banana in that is kind of hard for it to mix together. Plus also I got these blenders at like a yard sale. So they were used <laughs> already. Um, and if you're using like frozen berries and stuff and ice, you need something kind of like a notch above your garage sale blender. So I got this one. It wasn't cheap, but it got me to making more smoothies and, and being a little healthier. It's kind of nice because you can buy multiple containers and the containers have um, a smoothie drink top so you could take this to work or go jogging, you know, or it has a, um, a little like coffee mug kind of drink thing. But anyway, so I'll link to the one I use below. You can get what you want, that's really up to you. The regular blender jars are a pain to clean because they have little ridges in them and stuff. 
this is much easier. So this, the, the blender part just screws on here. There's a little mark on here. You're not supposed to go up a certain fill level. Oh, it says max. Yeah. Just so this puppy goes over. It makes a little bit of noise, okay? The bananas are stuck here. Um, hold on. There's a there's a right way to add all the ingredients so that doesn't get stuck up there. But with the um, regular blender, the ridges all have cocoa powder in them and stuff. So. And boom, you're done. So you can uh, read the paper, surf the web, <laughs> walk your dogs. And it looks like that. Just like we imagined. Oops. <laughs> That's like breakfast. And then you have this. You shouldn't eat again until tomorrow. Yeah, I want to have dinner now. But this, I don't know, I don't want to sound like a crazy smoothie evangelist because we know what that's like. Um, <laughs> but that's not bad, really, you know? All right, so I'll put the recipe below in the, uh, the information section below the video there. But let me know what your thoughts are. Do you do some smoothies or questions? Maybe I can help. Maybe you can help me. I learn from you. All right, see ya.